There, it's complete. The Mycroft Difference Machine is ready. This is the world's first real operating computer. Unlike Babbage's version, which only does math, mine performs complex equations all over London. It's programmed to view the city as a living organism, much like how the body responds to damage, so it is with the city. The city has a heartbeat that we can ascertain the health of it. And it seems someone from the underworld also possesses one. But they don't know that I have one as well, and mine is better. I can use my own computer to calculate a probability on where this perpetrator will likely be hiding. Longitude 55.071652, latitude 1.449405. Hmm. St. Mary's Lighthouse. Wait here, this won't be long. Hello? Basil? Dawson? Hmm. He's probably out with writing in again. It's nice those two bury the hatchet. They make a formidable team. Though I suspect there's something else between them. But who am I to judge? Hmm. My brother is good, I'll give him that. But this is one case I don't want him to get too close to. Otherwise, it would be his end. 
I feel guilty about this, giving him a false clue. But I won't stand to read in the paper that they were all killed. Watson, pack your bags. Tomorrow we're off to Newcastle. Uh, uh, what's all this, Holmes? The residents of that town have reported a terrifying beam of light emanating somewhere near there. Yeah, but Holmes, I was about to do me nails for the night. I got myself a brand new fancy pink nail polish I does. Your filthy nails can wait till later. We have to move, and we must move quickly. Uh, but Holmes, I was going to put some sparklies in me toes as well, uh, to meet up with my nickname, uh, Twinkly Toes. <laughs> All right, Twinkly Toes, go paint those nails and then pack. Hmm, I'm going to have to move quicker than planned. I'll have a glass of Chardonnay and a popcorn. When we roam the town, we'll be more than likely be met with an unwelcoming party. And I'll need you two to take care of it in a timely manner. Nothing like a little wine and popcorn while on a trip. As I was saying, we're going to be met with a few people that are hired to prevent Holmes and Basil of completing the mission, but they have no idea we're coming instead. I've called ahead and arranged the station's lights to be cut when we arrive. The tide is down, we can go. Take out the guard of the shack. Um, down here. 
You wouldn't happen to have any cheese, would you? I prefer Roquefort if you have any. Hmm, I take that as a no, that you do not have any cheese. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah, you're awake. Oh, um, one thing. Whatever you do, don't look down. I told you not to look down. Anyways, it seems like your next target was a hospital filled with the unfortunate sick and infirmed. By now you are probably wondering who I am and why I can speak your tongue. I've been charged by Kron's state to deal with human problems. I'm paid to make problems go away. Which brings me here. Your knowledge in science is most impressive. It is a shame your mind and body are laden with an incurable disease. But that's no reason to take it out on a hospital that I presume you once worked at and found no answers there. But the time is growing short. Sherlock, Basil, Dawson, and Radigan will be here shortly. As your judge, jury, and executioner, I sentence you to, hopefully, a better life. Goodbye, Mr. Shoemaker Thomas.